Three, two, one. The mountainous region of northern Thailand tops many people's list of favorites for where to go in Thailand. Many of the region's top destinations share an outwardly positive vibe throughout the year. Culture inspired by Lana, Shan, Karen, and other indigenous ethnic groups in the region provides a noticeably friendlier atmosphere, making visiting that much more pleasant. The Golden Triangle, where Thailand, Myanmar, and Laos meet, doesn't just produce opium anymore. Thanks to the slightly cooler climate, you can enjoy some indulgences in northern Thailand that are sometimes difficult to locate elsewhere in the country, real coffee, tea plantations, vineyards, and strawberries. Number 1 Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai, pronounced, C-H-A-Y-N-M-Y-E, means new city in the Lana language. Despite the prevalence of elephants in the local culture, the name has nothing to do with Chang, elephant, properly pronounced C-H-I-N in the Thai language. Why the new city? Chiang Mai took over Chiang Rai's job as capital in 1296, to bust another popular myth, Chiang Mai is not the second largest city in Thailand as many travelers think, but it does serve as the cultural heart of the country. The city offers the classic winning trifecta that attracts travelers, friendly locals, great food, and affordable prices. With the usual amount of frugality, you get more bang for the travel buck in Chiang Mai, and northern Thailand in general, than in Bangkok or the islands. Number 2 Pai, a bit less than 3 hours north of Chiang Mai, Pai is a much smaller, chilled out, riverside option for getting away from concrete. Although still mostly green, Pai's popularity and its development have grown tremendously in the last decade. So far, the charm has survived. Travelers of all budgets and nationalities cram into minivans to visit Pai. A surprising number come and decide not to leave. Number Chiang Rai, the city of Chiang Rai is an anomaly among the places to go to in northern Thailand. With a population of only around 75,000 people, it's certainly smaller than Chiang Mai. But the city is buzzing with commerce, universities, and daily life, which unfortunately includes plenty of traffic, most tourists are drawn for a short visit to Chiang Rai, thanks in large part to the impressive creations of the Wan Duchini and Kalamkai Kositlapath, two renowned Thai artists. After enjoying their contributions to the city, you can escape to the serene Concorn Forest Park, a worthwhile 45 minutes away, to cool down under a waterfall, until his death in 2014, the Wan actually lived in his otherworldly masterpiece, an estate known as Baan Dam, the Black House. Meant to be a portrayal of hell, the grounds and buildings of the Black House are adorned with animal bones and demonic art. Exploring definitely bestows a dark sense of wonder, visiting tip, don't expect Chiang Rai to be a serene escape from Chiang Mai, or you may be disappointed. The streets are perpetually clogged with drivers who think that sounding the horn will improve the situation. Number 4, Mei Hong Sun, although you'll have to brave well over 1000 twists, turns, and cutbacks on the 6 hour drive from Chiang Mai, Mei Hong Sun is definitely among the best places in northern Thailand. The small town is about as close as you can get to Myanmar without getting into trouble. Shan cultural influences are apparent in the food and attitude. Many Burmese people call Mei Hong Sun home, remoteness is both a blessing and a curse, Mei Hong Sun doesn't often get included in itineraries for northern Thailand. It's usually relegated to being a stopover for travelers exploring the region by motorbike. The popular Mei Hong Sun Loop is a scenic route popular with motorbikers that takes 4 to 5 days to complete. Mei Hong Sun has all the enjoyable options of the other places to visit in northern Thailand, temples, waterfalls, night markets, caves, and trekking to hill tribe villages. There are just enough hostels, goose houses, and cafes, most dotted around a small lake. The town is easily walkable, number 5 Chiang Dao. Located around 90 minutes north of Chiang Mai, Chiang Dao is the place to go for picturesque limestone cliffs and Thailand's third highest mountain, Doi Chiang Dao, 7136 feet. 
Although the mountain is barely a pebble when matched up against the massifs in Asia's Himalayas, Changdao is the premier place for birdwatching in Thailand. Over 350 species, many of which are rare, can be spotted. For travelers not so interested in birding, there are caves and hot springs all around the city to check out. If visiting during Thailand's winter season, you'll definitely appreciate the hot springs, Changdao can get chilly. The town is located very close to Fa Daeng National Park, an area popular for its bamboo forests in a climate that isn't as sweltering as the rest of Thailand. Karen Hill Tribe Villages are nearby, 